the, the things that I teach are the things that I always also want to learn myself. This is something I learned from Robert. It's called, um, it's the philosophy of teach to be rich. I'm a student as well as a teacher. Welcome to the Big Money Influencers Podcast. We talk with top influencers and experts to help you navigate and prosper in your business. It's all about creating wealth legacy and an online presence. Here's your host, Sienna Livingston. I'm talking with Ron Salvador. He is an influencer when it comes to wealth. He's been working with hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. He is such an amazing producer when it comes to creating wealth. And he has a philosophy around rich dad, poor dad that he shares with his clients. The pandemic hit, he's been moving a lot of his coaching online. And I'm so excited to ask him a few questions and excited about what he's going to share with us today. Ron, can you tell me in a nutshell what you do and how you help your clients? For the past 14 years, I've been traveling around the world teaching the philosophy of Rich Dad. I actually was fortunate enough to learn directly from the author of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, several years ago, a little over a decade ago. It was an incredible experience. I didn't realize what the training that I signed up for was to train me to go out into the world and actually do this. I had always wanted a lifestyle to be able to travel for a living. I was raised a military brat. My father was a United States Marine. So we always picked up and lived in different places. Although I live in Hawaii right now and it's gorgeous over here, I still love to get out, see something. I want to see snow and desert and different things. Traveling's always been in my blood. So having a career where I could travel for a living was always something that I wanted. And by being a coach and a mentor and a public speaker, it gave me that ability. The things that I teach are the things that I always also want to learn myself. This is something I learned from Robert. It's called, um, it's the philosophy of teach to be rich. I'm a student as well as a teacher. If you have ever tutored anyone, then you understand this, that when you teach someone a subject, a topic, and it doesn't matter what it is, you become more accountable to that information and you actually learn it just as much if not more than the student. So it's really that philosophy of me just being a regular student of the game as well and just wanting to learn it and understanding it better. This concept, I didn't get at first. First met Robert and he said, okay, so what do you want to learn? I said, I want to learn everything about what you know. So what he told me was, okay, then teacher. I said, well, how can I teach what I don't know yet? He goes, you know a little bit of something. I said, yeah, I know a little bit. Okay, so teach what little you know. And as you start to know more, teach more of that and repeat it. And because repetition is how we learn. The more you teach it, the more you repeat it, the more you repeat it, the more you teach and the more you learn, the more you, and it just goes in that, like a snowball effect. And so over the past 14 years, I've noticed a lot of development, not only in my understanding of the rules of money and how personal finance works, but I've also noticed it amongst my students and the people I coach and mentor. So it's really been such a fulfilling experience, not just monetarily, but just for the simple fact that I know that I've made an impact uh, upon many lives all over the world. It's kind of strange for me because if you had told me like 15 years ago, maybe, that I would be doing this and traveling around the world and people would be like asking for autographs and wanting to take pictures. I was like, no, that would never happen. And still, if someone does ask from that for me, it, it really humbles me because I, I always just view myself as a student, just like anybody else. And I'm hungry for knowledge. I just want to learn more of whatever I'm teaching. So that's why I do it. And now I understand why Robert does it. Well, he continues to teach. He doesn't need to do it anymore, but he loves the game. He loves the process of learning more by teaching. In order for him to keep an edge, he continues to talk about and teach the things that he wants to learn about. It's a concept that he still practices today and something for me, I always want to continue to be a student. And so to be a good teacher, you must always continue to be a good student. Basically what I do is I teach people about the, the rules of money. A lot of people don't know that because we don't learn it in school. What we do learn in school doesn't necessarily apply to the real world, unfortunately. Absolutely. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Who is your ideal client or customer? Who do you, who's your avatar? Who do you mostly work with? Initially, when I was traveling, and this recently changed because of the pandemic and travel restrictions, who I would normally teach are the people who picked up the book, or maybe haven't read the book yet. These are all people who are you know, novices or beginners really not understanding 
what to do, not knowing really what's going on. I mean, they know the traditional things that they were taught, which is to get good grades so they can get a good job, invest into a 401k and things like that. But they know that that it doesn't necessarily work nowadays. They want to learn more. That's who the people that I teach. But now, since I've had to change my business model and do more one-on-one coaching and mentoring and smaller groups, now I'm teaching more, a little bit more advanced people who are ready to understand more things that take a little bit more risk, actually ready to do something with their finances versus just learning. But I'm still really open to teaching people from the beginner's level, starting at that foundational level, just understanding the basics of personal finance, the rules of money and business and investing. I haven't done any events catering to that. Primarily, my clients are not seasoned investors, but at least have some knowledge of investing and business. Typically, my clients right now are people who are already doing it. Talking about beginner investing, because I know we have a lot of audience that are beginning investing, coming in from the corporate world, wanting to be entrepreneurs, wanting to like set up their retirement and set up their legacy and their wealth. What is one nugget that you can share? A lot of people talk about Bitcoin and different cryptocurrency. What would be your one tip that you can share? I teach a game, a board game that Robert Kiyosaki has created. It's called Cash Flow. something similar to Monopoly but it's more of a teaching tool. So you have fun with it, just like Monopoly, but you can draw a lot of lessons that are applicable to real life. The one thing I really love about the game is called cash flow. It's not called paycheck, it's called cash flow because it's really teaching you where the cash is flowing. And especially in this past year, you can see that the cash has started flowing very differently. Obviously, a lot of uh, brick and mortar businesses have been affected, restaurants here in Hawaii, the tourism industry. So you can see a difference and you don't even need to be an expert in finance to see that the cash flowing has been different. But the interesting thing is that now more than ever, there's actually more money available than ever before in history. I mean, you think about it, the president is actually going to print $1.9 trillion and just out of you know, thin air and just distribute it out. So the money is actually more available than ever before. Although for a lot of people, it's invisible. They can't see it. If the one nugget that I would pass on in this interview, take a look at where the cash is actually flowing. It's really, it's pretty simple. More people are staying home. So things like online technology, like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, that have to do with online where people don't actually need to leave their house. Those industries are just booming at this time. And so um, if you're not part of that right now, then I would strongly suggest to learn more about what's happening because actually everybody can participate in this because it's really so convenient and being able to be at home or wherever you are in the world because of technology, just something like this can be, make a world of difference. For me, I'm going to date myself for people like uh, you know, my age, this didn't even exist when I was in high school. We had no idea, but the younger generation, they almost lived through this. And to understand the technology and how you can do things, there's a lot that can be done. You don't even need to leave the house. That's right. That's, it reminds me of the bricks that we had, the big cell phones that we had in the car in the 80s when I was oh, God. <laughs> myself, but absolutely. So can you share on how, if somebody loves your message, they real, are really connecting with you, how they can connect with you and take the next best steps to work with you? I have a Facebook page. You could actually go to my website, which actually just connects directly to my Facebook page. And you can send me a, a personal message or a direct message there. So the website is www.ronsalvador.com. And that'll take you straight to my public figure uh, uh, Facebook page. You can send me a direct message there and pick my brain. I would like to offer like a free, at least 30 minute coaching session with me. Uh, And this is for anyone at any level, uh, regardless of whether you're an investor or not, whether you're in business or not, or maybe you have no idea of what's going on. Because I think it's important for more, more, more people to understand if you're interested in talking about personal coaching and one on one that my rate might be out of the range for the majority of new and beginning investors, but I'm still more than happy to do a a free session just to get you started and get you to understand where could you go? Where could could you go based on where you're at right now? 
Learn the secrets entrepreneurs can use to create wealth and legacy. Discover exactly how the top 1% are building financial success, wealth, and a legacy quickly in their business. These are the only secrets you need to create wealth and legacy when it comes to building your online presence. When you visit BigMoneyInfluencerLive.com, you will get free access to the exclusive Big Money Influencers Live Business Kit. It teaches proven secret strategies that successful entrepreneurs are using daily to create wealth and legacy in their business. Foolproof methods established business owners are using to live and build wealth and legacy. We know you're busy, so we have convenient audio which include foolproof methods established business owners use to build wealth and legacy. Easy to follow binder notes. And if you're ready to 10X your online presence or ready to take your business online, you can book a call and discover how to get started. Visit BigMoneyInfluencerLive.com. That's BigMoneyInfluencerLive.com. Just to get you started and get you to understand where could you go? Where could, where could you go based on where you're at right now? And, and I think that's so important because so many people are lost. They don't know what to do. There's so much cash out there flying all over the place. Yeah, but most people just don't see it. If I could at least, you know, give you a little, you know, spark or a little direction as to where to look and where to start from, then I'm more than happy to do that for at least. And just let me know that you're coming from this interview and then I'll be more than happy to uh, accommodate you in whatever way I can. Wonderful. That's exactly why I'm putting on the summit to help people take that first step into creating their own cash flow. So that's amazing. I am going to have the link down below underneath the video. So anybody that wants to have a, a session with Ron, go ahead and click the link below. Uh, several years ago, myself and Robert Kiyosaki were in Russia and we met a young guy. He was he maybe in his mid to late 20s. He was a very, very wealthy kid. <laughs> he actually had a lot more money than Robert himself. And we did an interview, you know, so Robert interviewed him. And he was actually the creator of the Russian Facebook. So in, in Russia during that time, um, they used his website more than they did actually Facebook. So it was really, really big. And yeah, you guys can understand how, like how big Russia is, right? He was very, basically the Mark Zuckerberg of, of Russia. Very, very wealthy guy. I mean, really humble. Like, could not tell that he was way richer than Robert Kiyosaki himself because he was just dressed in a hoodie, you know, torn jeans. And But he had the nicest office in the nicest part of St. Petersburg. It was just, you knew that, he, you know, he's quite successful. And so when Robert interviewed him, he said, he said, okay, so I'm way older than you. I've been in this game a lot longer than you, yet you have more money than I do. So what are you doing that I'm not doing? And what this young gentleman said, he said, you know, Robert, if you're not online, if you haven't taken your business online, then you're going to be left behind us who do. If you don't understand the online space, then you're going to be left behind. And that really resonated with me. And also, of course, Robert as well. After that Russia trip, Robert immediately started to change his strategy. He, he, he implemented more younger minds into his company, that new online space, online marketing, everything started to move the rich dad company to more online. And now he has a bigger reach and he's not doing as much live things. He can reach a lot more people being online. And myself, um, I'm a little bit slower. So <laughs> I just started really understanding that when the pandemic hit, because I was still doing a lot of live events, traveling all over the world, things like this. But when the pandemic hit, it's, it was these lessons from Russia that really made sense to me. And it made me start looking you know, online and what were the opportunities? And there are so many vast opportunities of what you can do. You could literally make a living from using this. For those of you that are interested, you know, just even, like I said, even in the free session, there's no obligation to do anything. I'm not gonna try to pitch you anything, but you can pitch, you know, you can pick my brain as much as you want, ask whatever you, you, you know, questions you want. Um, I'll be more than happy because, again, I think it's important that more people are aware that things like this exist. And, and if it can help as many people as possible, it would be great. And, of course, you know, don't only you know, look at to me as a resource. There's a lot of free information online. You can go to YouTube and just Google you know, things or search things um, and find out what, what opportunities are on, in, in the space online. And I'm not just talking about like Amazon selling on Amazon or online marketing. There's a vast number of things. 
uh, one thing that I would highly suggest is the blockchain, the blockchain technology, which um, you know, a lot of people like to think that it's, uh, it's uh, all about Bitcoin. Uh, and Bitcoin is really important. You know, I have Bitcoin. I think it's important to have Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is a great uh, store of value. But, um, you know, one thing I learned a long time ago about Bitcoin was that Bitcoin is just like a small piece of the picture of blockchain. I, as a matter of fact, I had a partner, a business partner of mine, invite me to San Francisco to go to uh, a blockchain conference. And this uh, gentleman, he said, oh, we're going to learn all about Bitcoin. Let's go over there. And, you know, the, it's like three days long. And they said, OK, well, you know what? My schedule won't allow me to go. So why don't you go take notes and tell me what you learn about Bitcoin? Because we thought blockchain and Bitcoin were one and the same thing. He went for three days at, in the Bay Area for this blockchain conference. And when he came back, I asked him, so what did you learn about Bitcoin? And he said, you know what was interesting? For the whole three days, not one person talked about uh, Bitcoin. Um, and that wow. really blew my mind because I thought, wait a minute, it was a blockchain conference. Bitcoin is the blockchain. You know, why wouldn't they be talking about Bitcoin? What I, what I learned at that moment was that the blockchain is so much bigger than just Bitcoin. Bitcoin uh, implements the blockchain in order for it to work, but the blockchain, it, it can do so much more stuff. And so when I talk about opportunity, um, and if it's if something that you want to you know, take from this interview, go search and learn about the blockchain because the blockchain I mean, there's stuff coming up in the blockchain that you couldn't even imagine. You know, if we talk about just finance alone, um, decentralized finance, where they're taking things that traditionally was in the power of the bank and now giving that power to the people. Just that alone, you know, is worth researching about, learning about. And so if that was another nugget that I can give in this interview is that go learn about the blockchain, learn about decentralized finance, learn about other things that's going on, because we have now developers that are coming up with things, really creative ideas of things that you can do in the blockchain would never even be possible in traditional finance. And so if you could learn anything, definitely do your research about the blockchain and what else is going on with that. That's awesome. We will be having some speakers coming up later on that are talking about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, different ways to build wealth, banking. I remember when we were in 2017, she had given me an opportunity to buy into Bitcoin at like $17 or something. It was really cheap. This time last year, March last year, it went down to $3,500. And now it's hovering around fifty-five to sixty thousand dollars for coin. So just in one year, it went from thirty-five hundred dollars to sixty thousand dollars. It's not showing any signs of stopping. It could go back down. I mean, I would definitely recommend more people to do your research. And if you do invest into cryptocurrency, um, make sure that you don't put all your money into it, and that uh, that whatever you do invest, just like any investment. Uh, it's something that you put in that you're, you're willing to risk and willing to even lose, okay? Because risk investing is inherently risky, especially cryptocurrency, especially for new people and people who aren't experienced. Uh, definitely tread carefully. Make sure that you, uh, you know, take in multiple resources. Don't just take one person's advice and say, okay, well, this person said this, I'm going to do this. Take a bunch of things. Like, you know, what I always learned from Robert is that there's three sides to every coin the heads, the tails, and the edge. And you always want to stand on the edge so you can see all sides of everything. And then you can make a decision based on everything that you know. So, uh, you know, don't just take my word for it. Don't just take any other person's word for it. Take a look at all the things and then make a decision based on yourself and what you want to do. That's awesome. That's great advice. Yeah, yeah that's why Clemmer is so important because, you know, it teaches you to, to look at things with responsible eyes. One of the things that I learned from like, like heart was you could actually, in what appears to be a scarce world, you could actually come up with so much abundance. That exercise where seemingly we didn't have a lot, but we were able to create so much. I mean, I was able to feed like my partner, like 40 people, over 40 people. And I mean, it was just amazing. It, so that what it actually taught me was that the, the resources are all, all around you. Everything that you need is all around you. It's already available. I mean, you're already rich beyond your wildest dreams. You just don't see the resources because everything's right there. And, and that's the challenge. 
for, for most people, because especially if you live in America, you know, the land of opportunity, there's so many resources available and a lot of it is free, you know? So, um, you know, and it's all available. Uh, it's just a matter of being able to open up your eyes, open up your heart and being able to see it and, th and then understand it to the point that makes sense to you. Cause everybody else, I mean, everybody has their own set of sunglasses. And mm -hmm. so you gotta go from the point of your sunglasses, what, what makes sense to you? Cause what makes sense to me doesn't necessarily make sense to this person, that person, and this person. So it's important to continue to personally develop yourself um, and go through courses like Climber. I think is so vitally important. That's why I always recommend it to my students to go through the process because uh, it, 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 I think it's 90% that, 90% of what you, you learn in Climber and then 10% of business and investing. It's just that important because we could all read the same book. Like we, for example, everybody reads Rich Dad, Poor Dad has the same words in the book. Everybody reads the same words, but what it means to everybody is completely different. What it means to me could be different from other people. Like I've read the book and it's, I mean, it's like gold to me. I mean, I've made so much back just from that little $15 book. But then I've heard a lot of people who read the book and say, well, yeah, it's great, but it didn't tell me what to do. I didn't get anything from, you know, valuable from it. So it really does depend on, you know, you know, what is your context? What is your level of understanding of the information that's given to you or available to you? And again, that's the reason why, you know, a lot of this cash that's flowing all over the place is invisible to most people. It's because, you know, their, their sunglasses and their level of understanding and context of being able to see these things, uh, it's just not there yet. And so it's important to constantly expand your context so that you can be open to you know, what's out, actually out there, you know, because living in this world is so different from when I was in the, you know, employee quadrant and being an employee, because you're, you were so trained just to see this much and, you know, what they want you to see, um, you know, not only that, but they control your time, they control the amount of money that you make, you know, they control pretty much all your life. You think about it, like if you're in the quote unquote rat race, where you have a regular job and that's what you do every day day to day it's actually really hard to see anything else because you're so focused on that you know but if you can take a little bit of that time in your day to start to learn other things and and develop yourself to be able to see other things outside of what you're normally doing it's going to open up a world of possibilities that you know just it could definitely change your life <laughs> so that's what i would recommend that people do Awesome. Thank you for sharing that extra tidbit. Thank you, Ron, so much for giving us a wealth of information. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you for allowing me to be part of this. To discover the secrets entrepreneurs are using to create wealth and legacy, visit BigMoneyInfluencersLive.com. And here's a big ask. If you love this podcast, will you take a minute to subscribe, review, and give us a five-star rating? Be sure and share with your friends and family. And thank you for listening.